Plunk right here, here. Now, this is a review overview of the DS1i Supercard uh, DSi flashcard. Now, this is relatively new on the scene because, of course, for a while the DSi was compatible with all of these flashcards. The one used for the DS Fats, it's called, or the DS Lite. Now, I have to say, this is the one I, I personally chose because uh, of various other reviews on YouTube of it uh, and around the internet. And this is the one I chose. It's very, very good. Um, I will highly, highly recommend this. Uh, I mean, when I started looking for one, the prices were around 50 to 60 quid. Um, my first, <laughs> my first gut feeling was, oh my god, that's that's quite expensive. Uh, but they must be good cards. I eventually found this one with a four gig uh, SD card for twenty six pound, including PMP. Brilliant, we like it. Right. A few of the features. Uh, real time save uh, which is a brilliant function uh, some of the games it does crash on but it's a good function real time cheat code real time game guide that's a uh, I think that's an exclusive feature to DS1i and multi save I think that's exclusive but don't quote me on that I'm just you know so let's open up the box and in the box I'll get it open You get the car itself, a uh, micro SD USB 2.0 reader. Now, although it says USB 2.0 on it, I'm not sure it's actually that fast. I have another one uh, for my DS Lite flash cart, and it's faster. Um, I haven't used it that much, uh, given that I've got the other one to go to. So, anyway, now one nifty. Uh, contraption feature is this and what this actually is is a firmware writer for the uh, cart itself now what Nintendo do when they bring out um, firmware for the DSi they block the hardware of these carts and what this does it flashes any of the files on here and you, you put them on a cart hard hard flashes them to the cart itself to stop hopefully to stop Nintendo blocking the card and so you can continue using it despite updating your uh, DS. The other thing I will say just as a word of warning uh, don't update your DS officially um, until because all of these cards do have their own sites and stuff until the site itself says it's safe to do so when it says that update it follow the instructions and away you go. There was an instruction little instruction leaf that came with this but I've lost it at the moment so I do apologize for that uh, the English isn't too good in it but then this has come from Hong Kong right sorry I'll put the card back we get the card out the, uh, the card I got is a 4 gig 4 gig micro SD HC HC meaning high capacity of course because they're compressed um, just to show you what the card looks like in the card reader, because I know some people like to know. It doesn't sit flush with the reader itself. Uh, as, I said, as I said before, the reader isn't, doesn't seem that fast at the moment, but I haven't actually used it that much uh, yet. Um, yeah, it's nice. It's not, you know, build quality is nice. Uh, I mean that can get knocked and stuff, but uh, if you ask me, you're going to be careful once this is inside your computer. Um, anyway, put that back, move that over there for now. The uh, card itself does have a spring function, which I prefer, because some of them do have the one we take it out and put it back in, but I prefer the spring function. And uh, yeah, it's popped into the DSi, which I have over here. And there you go, there's the uh, supercard itself, and as you can see, all the other functions of the DSi are perfectly accessible. I won't go into any, uh, but trust me, that you can access them, you can go into them, uh, and it's perfectly usable as the console is, 
as normal. So go into that. It does take a while to load. If you wait, you get that nice little tone. That's to tell you it's all loaded and all ready. Now, we've look at the top. It says save other option help. I'm not sure I've accessed those yet, but anyway. If you go into games, and as she, it's the list of my games. Now, one uh, nifty little function I like with this, if you press Y, it changes the view of how your games are listed. This is one with just text, which is very fast at loading. You can zoom through all your games, ROMs, whatever you call them. Very good. Next one is a uh, title with the little uh, graphics. Takes a little bit longer to load each one. As you can see, it's about half a second to a second each time I press. Press it again, you get a bigger graphic. This one actually interesting. It's faster at loading than the previous one. Press Y again, and there you go. Right. If I now press X on one of the. Uh, Games. If you can see that, probably not. It says change multi saver set patch. Press set patch, and you've got all the options like enable cheats, uh, enable DMA, which stands for direct memory access, enable guide, fix downplay, real time save. I mean, there are loads of uh, other videos on YouTube that go into these in detail. Uh, the only two that I use is real time save, enable cheat. And that's the only two I really use. And maybe DMA mode if it needs it. Uh, that's that's the only two I've used so far. Um, multi saver, right. Now as you most of you probably know, each DS game only comes with one save uh, space, state, whatever. Um, and this actually gives you multiple uh, save states per ROM, no matter how many, even if there's only one on the actual game itself. So that's actually a nifty little um, feature. I'm not going to go too heavily into it. It's just a quick overview. My views of it are very, very positive. Um, when I first looking for one, about I was looking at about 50, 60 quid. I finally bought this one with the 4 gig SD card including PMP for £26.98 I think uh, which is very very good modest price um, overall it's a very very uh, nice card with a firmware reader it's Plunker 88 sorry.